We want to bring in Jay Walder. He's the CEO of Virgin Hyperloop. And Jay, congratulations on this milestone. Let's just start with how big of a step forward this is just to commercializing the Hyperloop technology. Having me and, and uh, uh, it's all smiles. I'll tell you, this is this is huge. This is huge. And, and we've really, you know, if you think about Hyperloop, we had already proven that the technology works. We'd run about 400 tests. And uh, the question that, that we get asked most often is, is it safe? And yesterday we answered that question with a resounding yes. We had the first passengers in a Hyperloop pod. They were two of our team members, our, our co-founder and CTO, Josh Geigel, and our director of passenger experience, Sara Lucian. And uh, they, they got in and they had an unbelievably great ride. And, and uh, we're all smiles. It, it's definitely very cool, but historians will point out that the first subway system in New York was a pneumatic kind of system. Now, this is clearly light years ahead, but when do you get to 600 miles per hour? Because those of us who are you know, sci-fi geeks want to go that fast. And do you have the financing to build uh, a track long enough to test at 600 miles per hour? So look, let's, let's take it in pieces to what's, to what's going on here, right? So um, first off, let's be clear. This is paving the way not to what people did in, in literally uh, not even the, the 20th century, but the 19th century. This is really setting out and saying, what are we building with a clean sheet of paper for the 21st century? It's a it's high speed, as you said, over 600 miles an hour. It's high capacity. Uh, it's on demand and flexible, more like ride hailing than the way that you think about train schedules. It carries people and freight, so it gives us both mobility and logistics at the same time. Um, and it and it's green. Uh, this is going to work without polluting the air that we breathe. So this has absolutely nothing to do with what was done in the in the 19th century. This is about using modern technology, automated equipment, magnetic levitation, machine intelligence, and being able to do it. It's real and, and we're proving that that's uh, we're proving that that's happening. Uh, the facility that we have here in Las Vegas, I'm about uh, 20 miles outside of Las Vegas as I'm speaking to you right now. <clears throat> the facility we have out here has a 500 meter track, and that's what we used for the, the test yesterday. Um, we have announced that we are building the, the US Hyperloop Certification Center. Um, we'll be in uh, West Virginia. And that facility will be uh, about 10 kilometers, about six miles long. So, so 20 times the length of what we have here will allow us to get up to higher speeds, will allow us to be able to demonstrate multiple pods in the tube at the same time, and to go through the full process of safety certification. We should have that certification done by 2025, and we're, we will have, we're looking to have the first routes running before the end of this decade. So this is not just moving forward, it is really moving forward at what I'll call hyperloop speed. Jay, and then when you do reach that goal or maybe ahead of that goal, at the end of the day, what's so important is you have to convince people to ride it. How are you going to convince people to give it a chance and that it is in fact safe? Because someone like me, I mean, I would be a little bit hesitant to get on board. Uh, look, I, I think that's a process that really starts with today, right? I mean, the people that you saw ride Hyperloop yesterday are two ordinary people, and we're going to put more ordinary people in, in Hyperloop. And I think you build up people's confidence uh, by doing that. We go through rigorous safety processes and procedures. We're using really the most modern safety uh, equipment and ways of being able to, to do this. And, and I think we can show everybody, and we will ultimately go through a process of certification that doesn't just involve our company, but will involve government as well. We're having certification regulation discussions uh, in the United States with the Department of Transportation. They're absolutely thrilled about what we're doing. Uh, in Europe as well, with, with the, the European Union as well, as in India, in the, in the Gulf countries. So, uh, I think we're going to see something that that is is really going to take off very very quickly. Hey Jay, for the record, I'd ride. I'm not afraid. I'd do it. <laughs> Good. Me too. <laughs> Adam and you are both more of a daredevil, I guess, than I am. But it was a good pitch. I think you convinced me. I think I'd be more willing to take the chance now. But Jay Walder, we wish we had more time. CEO of Virgin Hyperloop. Congratulations again on that successful test over the weekend. We wish you all the best and hope to have you back soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.